back to my channel. I just put Nelia down for a nap and I'm about to make some lunch and I thought I would share with you guys what I've been having. I've been making this like every day this week and I really like it. It's so simple, it takes me like five minutes to put together and when she is down for a nap, it's like go time for me. So I try to get as many things done as possible and I don't have that much time. So I've been loving simple lunches. So let's make some lunch. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm having. Okay, so what I've been making pretty much daily the last week is a tuna salad with a mix of veggies, whatever I have. So I just combined some tuna with an organic mayonnaise and the juice of half a lemon. I mix that together and that's the base. And then from there, I add in some veg. So today I did some sliced cucumber and celery. Sliced bell pepper in there is also great too. This is actually more of my second lunch today as I had a bowl of Nalia's tortellini pasta with her when she ate earlier. So I'm not super hungry, but I needed something to hold me over until dinner. So this was perfect. But if this were to be my main lunch, I would also add in some plain pasta or have this with a side of avocado toast. I'm also adding in some avocado here too and some roasted salted almonds. This was so good. So I had that and next I'm preparing these beautiful strawberries that I just bought. So I'm giving them a rinse and then I'm going to be slicing off the stems so they're ready to eat. Mo and I are actually doing a three day sugar reset. We like to do these from time to time where we just swap out any processed sugar things that we're eating with fruit. We just celebrated Nelia's first birthday. We had so many sweets, cakes and chocolates and homemade desserts, all sorts of yummy things. Our family was here. So they brought and made a lot of things and we just needed a little reset so we've been doing lots of fruit lately and cutting up the fruit like this as soon as we get it from the store is such a great way to actually make sure the fruit gets eaten and most importantly whenever we're in the mood for something sweet or after dinner we have something ready to eat or snack on so I'm doing the same with the watermelon and watermelon in the summer is just so good. There's just nothing like it. It's so refreshing and hydrating and it's that perfect amount of sweetness. The thing with fruit too is that it's sweet, but you get it in that whole package. So you're getting the water, the fiber, the vitamins, the minerals, and that all helps it to be processed by your body in a better way without getting a huge blood sugar spike. And for me personally, I really see it in my skin when I'm eating too much sugar, too much dairy as well. That's something that I know I'm sensitive to. But yeah, this little change up has been really nice. I'm seeing it in my skin too. That's always a huge motivator for me you guys probably know I was not blessed with the good skin gene I cannot eat whatever do whatever my skin is clear it's something that I really have to work hard towards and it's all about consistency for me so it's not like I have clear skin and I'm you know I'm done I can go do whatever. It's a daily commitment to me to keep my skin clear and to keep my body healthy. You know, I think we're definitely all wired a little differently. Our bodies are all a bit different. And I think you have to figure out what works for you and stick to it. I remember being a teen and feeling so upset. I had friends who could literally eat whatever they want, drink whatever they want, sleep in their makeup, do all the crazy things and they would have beautiful skin and I was never like that. But over the years, especially in my 20s and my 30s, I really came to love the feeling of taking care of your body and for me, doing the good things for myself, having a good skincare routine, but also taking care of myself like physically, really nourishing myself with good foods, focusing on sleep, exercise, like feeling good. Not only does that make you feel really amazing and happy and energetic, but it has a beautiful rippling effect on your skin health too. One of the things that I do every single day and something that I really pay attention to is the health of my gut. And there's a huge connection between your gut health and your skin health. It's called the gut skin axis. So the healthier your gut, the more diversity that you have in your microbiome, the healthier and clearer your skin will be. And this is scientifically proven. And one of the easiest things I do to support my gut health is to take a really high quality probiotic. This is my favorite one from Seed and this is no ordinary probiotic. 
probiotic. This is the best of the best that I've personally come across. I've been taking this for over three years now and I love it. I take two capsules every morning and that's what I mean by the fact that it's so simple and easy to integrate into your routine and it has proven benefits to not only support your skin health but of course your overall digestive health, your cardiovascular health, and even your immune system. I think it's important to know as well that not all probiotics contain the same strains of bacteria that operate for a certain function. So Seed has those specific strains. I'll pop them up here on the screen. These are scientifically proven to support skin health. So you know you're doing something really great for your overall well-being, but especially for your skin when you take these. And most probiotics on the market just get burned up by your stomach acids and bile salts. But Seed have this really cool innovative technology which allows the probiotics to go down to where they need to and have their effect. If you guys have not tried this out yet, I would highly recommend it. You can use my code AnnieJ25 to save 25% off your first month. Normally my code is for 15% off, but as I mentioned, you can get it now for 25% off. So if you've been thinking about trying this, I would highly recommend it. I'll have a link for it down below in the description box along with the code as well. We are in a professional hair supply store. Mo's gonna be cutting and coloring my hair tomorrow. They're excited. And we are here to pick up some supplies. There's always a book that showcases all the colors that they're offering. So, for example, here you see all the pure naturals, the rich naturals, deep browns, vibrant, vibrant reds. We are doing something like this for your tone. <laughs> Your blonde okay. Seventy-seven one, and this is your brown color that we put. Like where is them? Hmm? What is it? That's the brown. Yeah, but again, it will never look like that. You know, it always looks different. But this is basically Annie's color, and for her tone, as Annie wants it, imagine that's a seven eighty-nine. That's what we put um, on Annie's hair. It's gray, basically. I mix it with this one because Annie's hair get very quickly orange. Tone is super important. It has to be more like cool tone. It always feels so good to get your hair done. We just spoke about what we're gonna do in terms of color and we're gonna do a little refresh because as you can see, it's pretty grown out. Mo is doing the baby lights. And we decided to just make a little touch up on the contours. So contour meaning like the around top of the head. Yeah, like around the, the head. Fr the frame. In the back. Yeah. When you put your hair up, because I wear my hair up a lot with Nalia, and that's where you also would see, just as you would see the, the top part of the hair that's grown out, you also see the back of the hair. So we're doing the front and the back.
right guys so here is the final hair i just did a quick blow dry with a round brush and then actually i had to put nelly to sleep so i had to put my hair up so it's not perfect but i wanted to show you guys still the end result and i'm really happy with it feels so nice and fresh especially the ends love the feeling of freshly cut ends i'll pop in my inspiration picture here i love this haircut and the shorter bangs not too short but like fun and playful and not too difficult to maintain either because they're not too short it also looks a little bit richer because we did put in a gloss and that helps to tone down the orange tones in my hair so this is my fresh new hair and i love it good morning guys we are in the car we are headed to a little uh, place where you can go swimming. They've got some activities like water activities and things like that. And it's a beautiful day, nice and sunny and it's super warm. I've been wanting to share with you guys our new car seat and she looks like such a big girl in this and she really loves it. This is from Nuna. It is on their um, twist platform. This is what we had with our other car seat too. So you can do this and it can twist um, all the way around. So you can move her like this. So she's sitting in this position and then it clicks in and then of course towards the other way as well. There's also a lever here where you can put her down. You can lay her down like that. So she's in a bit more of a laying down position. So if she falls asleep, especially great for longer car rides, and you can just press that and now I'm pressing her all the way up again. And the color is beautiful too, amazing quality. I know car seats can be difficult to choose from, there's so many. So I really like this one and I will have a link for it down below. And I saw a few of you guys asking about it in my other video when you could see it in the back. So just wanted to give it a little shout out because we are really, really happy with this. was Nalia's first birthday last week and I thought it would be fun to sit down and share five of our parenting tips for any new parents out there. Okay, so Mo's gonna go first. Keep your home clean and make the apartment baby approved. That's so yeah. important. So you don't keep your anxiety level high, especially because, you know, they're moving around. If you're not secure with your apartment, what could be laying around there? you mm -hmm. will have all the time anxiety. Remove all things that can be shocking hazard, like everything that is too small, put it away. That's a good one. My first one is let your kids be kids. So let them get messy, let them explore. That is their way of learning. And you can always clean up, wash their hands, change their clothes. This is something that I'm actually quite surprised about myself. My family tell me as well that I'm not like a helicopter mom. I let her, I mean, obviously if it's something that's a choking hazard or anything like that, I'm very careful with those things. But if it's about food, like when we eat, I, I want her to touch it, feel it, um, get comfortable with it. It's such a big learning and such a big sensory experience for her. Second one is as a baby cannot speak until, I don't know, they're one and a half or two years old or maybe just some words. I would definitely teach them sign language for the most important mm -hmm. things. For example, I hope you don't have that. No, I don't. <laughs> so we teach her, for example, that all all done, like she knows now she does all, is all done means she's done with the food or she says more. I want more. She also does, um, when she's hungry, she's, she does this. Mm -hmm. Smacks her lips yeah. together. Sure. I think these, like there's lots of important sign languages that can help you so much, especially because, you know, a way to communicate with your baby. Yeah, I think it lowers the frustration because imagine how annoying it must be like she wants to, to say something or, or convey something and she can't. So just giving her those little opportunities to learn like the basics, like Mo said, all done, more, 
eat yeah um, also milk she does milk eat. yeah like you think in the beginning right when we started sign language you're like is this even going to work because you do it for months and then all of a sudden they get it my second one is to plan and think ahead and make lists kids need a lot of things especially babies like if you're traveling if you're going out to eat at a restaurant if you are going to a friend's house like just like think ahead of all the things that you're gonna need write them down because there's so many things that can be going on especially before a trip like you know how much it is just to get yourself ready like that there's like a whole new layer now with a child so i like to make a list i go through like her day of everything that she would need write it all down and then when i'm packing or before we leave i can just look at that list and check mark everything it takes such a load off of my brain <laughs> of my memory and even like if we go to restaurants like i have to think about her bib her plate a fork like things to clean her up with and of course like diapers and all like the diaper bag is like you know stocked at all times but then there's like the additional things i went to my friend's house a few weeks ago and she slept there so i brought the, mo the monitor her sleeping bag sound machine i was like prepped when i got there it was it ran smooth tip number three also we're giving a total five okay You've my third okay. yeah i think becoming a parent pushes the anxiety level pretty high you are thinking about what you need and what you don't need and how to get everything sorted but i think a baby doesn't require lots of money and you shouldn't spend too much money on a baby that's what i would recommend mm -hmm. a baby is growing especially in their first months is growing so quickly buy basics you know like mm -hmm. buy stuff that you can use for a longer time so i would say yeah you don't need too much but also you don't want to be doing laundry like twice a day I right i didn't so, say too much but don't spend too much money yeah 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 i 100 percent like agree, get like so get 20 bodies at h m instead of going expired and buying expensive yeah. stuff you know i agree i'm gonna add on there you know bibs um oh yeah like bibs at the first months bibs are your help for everything like mm -hmm. they're starting to teeth they're like or they spit up a little spit bit up, they throw up also when you go out and it's cold i don't know wherever you live bibs are like a little scarf for a baby mm -hmm. whenever we go out she gets a bib on my third one is to get help there's a saying it takes a village to raise a child yes it does we don't have a lot of family that live by us unfortunately so we have help we have somebody who comes to help us for a few hours it allows us especially me to focus on work if i have any appointments if you have family around you of course that is even better if you can get your family to help you even if it's just for an hour like that hour you will probably get so much done in just that one hour obviously you have to see what you need for your lifestyle but that's something that i would highly recommend is to have help get your team my fourth point get the most important electronics first and most important i think and has helped us so much is a baby breather i think it saves you time especially when a baby is crying she wants her milk especially if you sometimes have to put the baby down then you have to go and do the milk and then she'll be sitting there and crying it's definitely helpful and then obviously nanit nanit um, is a baby camera a monitor that to be honest i felt is such a good purchase the camera for the baby is so good because it's so high like mm -hmm. you can put it so high so you really see birth view but I, you don't see only the birth view you see also like around the bed then there's a sound machine um, mm -hmm. that i would definitely recommend you don't hear anything even if we're allowed outside you cannot almost not hear that because it almost takes away all the surrounding sound so mm -hmm. the baby sleeps just better it muffles so if there's like a dog barking or an ambulance siren it doesn't startle her yeah. it just kind of like softens everything so that's yeah that's a good one okay my fourth one is to get outside every day and to change up the scenery at least once a day i've noticed even when she was from like being a tiny baby to now if she's ever fussy or anything like that she, if she gets outside she's happy i think we're all like that like we need fresh air it can be as simple as going They're to the grocery so store they're so happy about that right like yeah can... like going to the grocery store or of course to a playground going to the post office like or it can be like a bigger thing like we go and have like a day at the lake or we go into the city or we like go to a restaurant or something like that but even just like the small thing of literally going to the grocery store just having that little trip it can be like 
20-30 minutes if you're you know a parent that is at home a lot just to get outside just to get that switch up I think is so beneficial for both you and the baby yeah and it kind of like breaks up the day a little bit don't be scared to take your baby out and even make it sleep in the stroller don't be scared to do things and test them out and to see how it how it how it works i think mm -hmm. it's all testing and trial and uh, every person is different nalia loves to go out she's always bye yeah. bye let go by yeah when we leave the door she's like okay where are we like, going yay. are we going to the airport mm. are we like flying across the oh world God, this girl. are we just she doesn't know like, she, she doesn't know where to go but she's like i'm all in yeah okay that's a good one yeah so um, my last one keep up with your times especially bad times um, so keep up with the bedtime routine like having good routines yeah yeah um, so the baby knows what to expect and and when it can rest as well as you and your partner can rest so mm -hmm. a very good recommendation that I definitely see any doing and it's been helpful extremely is the Huckleberry app first I was saying to any baby you're a little bit extreme come on why are you doing that it's so much work but guys let me tell you out of this we can extremely manage her. We know what to expect and she's on time now. For example, now we know at that time she's sleeping. At that time we can work, do something together or whatever. Like mm -hmm. I think it's so important to keep that up. Children, they thrive on routine. Like they love to know what's coming next. And if we follow that, even when we travel, wherever we are, like she will go to sleep. My fifth tip, my fifth point that I've written down, it will all go by so fast and really enjoy the small moments everything will get so much easier i wish i could tell myself this over and over again but i did try to remind myself of this like in the newborn days because it was really challenging and i think we all deal with like different things that might come for me it was a lot about like the feeding that was really difficult like sleep was really difficult i really do feel though with every month she turns like the older she gets the more i love that age so even when i'm in the age i'm like oh i love this age like this is so sweet even when she was a newborn even though it was so hard i have a friend who has now a four month old and i was holding him the other day and i was like oh how did it go by so fast and it feels like it was like yesterday with Nalia and they yeah they are just like constantly changing and even though times are difficult like keep your cool keep your patience like soak in all of the good moments take so many pictures and videos like when you look back a few months later you're like what how did she change so much thank you so much for watching and, and i see you in my next one make sure to check the description box down below oh, yeah. for links thank you guys so much for watching i see you in my next one bye, bye guys